Hey, it's Jeff again. Welcome to lesson number three of the analytics course. Today we're going to be talking about several things, but the first lesson we're going to talk about is how do we set expectations with what we're going to get out of Google Analytics. Now we've made this investment in the course, we've made this investment in the tool Google Analytics. How do we make sure that we are we know what we can get out of this tool and that we get the most of it? So we're going to be talking all about how do we set our expectations with Google Analytics. So the first thing I want to tell you is that I love Google Analytics. I'm passionate about this product. I've been using it for the last 10 plus years and I just think it keeps on getting better and better and my love grows every single day. And so I'm very passionate about Google Analytics. So everything we say throughout this lesson and just moving forward, it's more, gonna be more of telling you how to get the most out of it and setting the expectations. Don't ever question that love when it comes down to it. It's a great tool that can do many things, but I wanna make sure that we do understand what it's good at and what it might not be good at. And so the first thing is, the reason why I love it is that it's free. It's a free tool that's available to the masses and a lot of people are taking advantage of that and using Google Analytics to measure their website success. It's easy. It is pretty easy to use, especially after we go through this course and we talk about all the different things that are available to us. We'll find that it is fairly easy once we have a base of knowledge to use Google Analytics and to get insights about our website. It's powerful. So the funny thing is that even though it's a free tool, it does have just as much power, in my opinion, as the paid tools that do some of the same things. So it is just as powerful, this free tool that Google makes for you, as many of the paid tools that are out there that cost over $100,000 a year. It's awesome. I know that's sort of a subjective thing. It's hard to really define what is awesome, but I, I think it's awesome that it can do so many cool things. And the market share is there. The reason why I do a course on Google Analytics and not just web analytics in general is because of the market share. We're talking about going after 80% of the market and that's really where the focus should be is on the market leader in analytics. But at the same time, analytics can be scary as heck. It can be really scary for us that, you know, it's 80% of people are using analytics. Are we doing it the right way? Are we doing things the right way? Are, can we break something? So it can be really scary and overwhelming. I mean, I've been overwhelmed by analytics at times, and I'm sure that you've been overwhelmed as well. And so what I want you to know, and part of the setting expectations is that Google Analytics is just a tool. Now, are you scared of tools like in a tool shed? Are you scared of these tools that we see on screen? Probably not, because they're sort of like an inanimate object. They're just sitting there, and they're really only useful when you use them. And when you use them properly and when you use them in the way that they're intended. So think about Google Analytics from that perspective. Take away the computer, take away all the technology, the word the cloud, take away the internet, all that stuff. And really all it is, it's the same as something that's sitting in your toolbox. And it's up to you to make this make sense, to make this do what you need it to do. So don't be afraid of a tool. Like you wouldn't be afraid of a tool unless it was like a big, huge, heavy one, I guess, because you might be afraid of, of falling under it or hurting yourself with it. But in general, we're not really afraid of tools. So why should we be afraid of, of Google Analytics if it's just a tool? But knowing that it's just a tool now, we know that if we don't do it the right way, we're going to get something to fail. It's just not going to work. And the other thing to know is that tools, it takes a strategy along with those tools in order to create a revolution, in order to do something that's really cool. And so that's, this is the cotton gin, which they credit with um, producing, you know, starting the industrial revolution. And that's sort of where with Google Analytics and your strategy, that can really start to be the way that you can go after your own analytical revolution. So adding it all together, there's nothing to be scared of, but what you need to do is you need to use the tool the right way. That's this course. The other thing is you need to have a strategy alongside your tool in order to make sure you're gonna get the best results. And we're gonna be talking throughout the course about how we can get these strategies in place. Another thing I wanted to tell you is that Google Analytics is not the answer. Google Analytics is just a way to find the answer. Now this screenshot is from when I did a Skype call with a high school class, which is really cool, out of Wisconsin. And the teacher had said, I want, we want to learn about how to create an, an online business. And one of the things that we know is important for an online business is Google Analytics. Let's talk to somebody who is an expert in Google Analytics. And so I Skyped in with the class and the students were asking me these questions like, well, how is Google Analytics going to make me money? Or how is Google Analytics going to make my business better? And I was like, well, wait a minute here. You're, you're not asking the right question. It's not so much that Google Analytics is going to do any of these things. What Google Analytics is going to do is it's going to give you 
the answers to some of the questions you might have about how you can make more money, but it's not gonna make money itself. So it's a tool to help you find answers, which is really what we want, especially when it comes to marketing programs. We want answers as to whether this is working or not, but it is not the answer itself. And so this is just the response from one of my one of the students who had said, yeah, that's cool. That was a really a big breakthrough for me. I, I didn't realize that the tool didn't give me the answers. It was me that had to come up with the answers. Just think about it from that perspective, and that is that it's not the answer. It's just a way for you to find answers. So we're going to learn Google Analytics from the inside out. That's the whole point of this course is to learn this tool from the inside out so that you're confident in what you're doing and the strategies, and you're going to be a master in how to use this tool. And at times, it's going to be overwhelming. There's going to be a lot of knowledge coming at you. Uh, I've, I've done these presentations many times talking about analytics, and a lot of times people say something like it's a fire hose of information. They're just it's trying to drink from a fire hose. There's just so much coming out. The reason why we've structured this course this way and in a series of small videos is so you can consume them at your own pace and you can consume these things at whatever pace you want to. And maybe you need a day in between videos. Maybe you need a couple days to let it process. But this is all going to be building up towards your knowledge. And remember, it's going to be okay. Just because you're a little bit overwhelmed right now doesn't mean that it's going to be something that you need to give up on. We are going to take you on a progression, on a journey from just getting to know this thing, just barely you know, having any knowledge in Google Analytics, all the way to becoming a master, becoming certified by Google in their analytics product. So we're going to go on this journey together and really just want to make sure that you know that it's something that you're going to build on. So you don't need to walk into this thing thinking that you're going to be an expert tomorrow. That's not the expectation that I've set with you. That's not my expectation for you. The goal is that over time, you're going to build on this knowledge over and over again. You're going to watch several lessons. And then by the end of it, you're going to look back and say, wow, I really know a lot about Google Analytics now, and I'm ready to take that to my organization. And when all else fails, remember this. We all want to simplify the complex. We don't want to make more complexity. We actually want to simplify what we're seeing here. And so that can be as simple as telling a story from the Google Analytics data. So looking at the reports that we collect and using the information we have in order to tell a story to our organization. Going back to our lesson two, when we talked about the difference between data, information, knowledge, and decision making, basically we want to create that information and knowledge that we can use to make better decisions. And one framework for making better decisions is to have a story tell a story to the organization about what happened in the past so they can make an informed decision. That's really what we're doing with analytics. And we have a lot of weapons in our arsenal. If you are interested in doing those storytelling, we have a lot of weapons available to us. So the periodic table of Google Analytics is something that I have created that just talks about the different elements that go into Google Analytics. And as you know, and as you'll see throughout this course, we're going to draw on many of these elements in order to piece together that story. But just knowing going into it now is that not only do you have, you know, when you think of Google Analytics, it's not like just having one tool in your toolbox. It's not a hammer. It's not a wrench. It's sort of like a one, it's like a tool that can do almost everything. It's a wonder tool. It's a tool that can do nearly everything you want it to do. And even if it's not something that works out of the box or something that you think that it could do, or there's not a report button for it, when you look at these elements here, it can do things that you never even imagined. So you chose the right tool by choosing Google Analytics, and you've chosen the right course by choosing this course because we're gonna talk you through many of these elements in order to see how do we fit this tool around our strategy. If we wanna get something done, if we wanna build a house, if we want to do many of these things, Google Analytics is the tool for us. And so to use this tool to get these results that we're talking about, it comes down to your approach. So I'm not sure if any of you remember the scientific method from school, but it's a pretty straightforward method that, that scientists use in order to conduct experiments and in order to, to basically do science. Now the scientific method, the funny thing is it doesn't need to be just for scientists. It can actually be something we can do as analysts as well and as people who are marketers. And so we start out with an approach where we ask a question, we do our research, we have a hypothesis, and then we test the hypothesis by doing an experiment that's what we do almost every day in marketing. If we put something up on our website, if we create a new home page, if we launch a blog post, all these things we're doing are experiments to hopefully see if something works. And then if we were true scientists, what we would do is we'd analyze that data to draw conclusions. And then we would say, are our reports correct or not? Are we doing what we expected to do? 
But where most marketers need to improve is that we don't analyze that data and we don't necessarily report on our results and see whether we're right with our hypothesis. We're so focused on creating the asset. We're so cr focused on creating the element that we're launching out there that we sometimes fail at analyzing and reflecting. And so part of what I wanna make sure that we do, and the reason why I'm excited about analytics and the reason why I'm excited to teach you is because I want to give you the tools that you need in order to do this, in order to analyze your data, draw conclusions, and then to report back to your organization on whether you were right with that hypothesis or not. Because good marketing is really something that's informed by your previous results, by taking a look at what happened in the past and using that to inform the future. And the last thing I wanted to just talk about is what situations are going to help you when it comes to using analytics. So where and why should we be using analytics? First of all, where can we use analytics? We can use it to understand what's working with our business. So looking at our reports with a properly fig configured Google Analytics account, we can see what's working. But even better, we can use it to fix what's not working. So it should be pretty obvious when we look at our reports, if something's not working well, we can brainstorm ideas to fix it, to make sure that whatever is not working will work well into the future. You can use it to generate ideas. So taking a look at what's come in, the data we have, who's visiting our website, it generates ideas for where we should go and do things into the future. A lot of the ideas that I have ultimately come from looking at analytics reports and then it helps me make what's called a data-driven decision. So I look at the data in order to make decisions. And then you use that to improve your results. So if you're looking at the past and you're saying, here's how this worked, here's, here's what's working, and then you implement that over and over again, which is really what we call optimization. If you optimize things, then you are going to improve your results. That's just how it works. If you see how things worked in the past and then you make steps to improve it, you are gonna improve those results. Other things are calculating your value. So some of you may be in a marketing department or a part of a company and they don't really see the value in doing online programs. They might not see the value in what you're doing. You can use analytics, which is basically reporting on the facts of what happened on your website. You can use that to calculate your value. And then once you've calculated your value, you can say, how do I justify and encourage investment? How do I get you to invest more money in this program, which is really important. The other thing is, we talked earlier about telling our customer story. What is the story about our customer? Why did they come to our website? What were they looking for? Did they get what they needed? Did they, did they leave in frustration? We can tell that story. And we can then see into the future, because once we have an idea as to what happened in the past, and we know the story of the visitor, we can see how things are going to unfold in the future. So if we don't make any changes to our website, we can expect this activity. Yet, if we make positive changes to our website, if we improve on, if we make data-driven decisions, we can do this. And that's where we can see into the future based on what happened in the past. All right, that's it for part one of this video. In our next video, we're going to talk about Google Analytics Fundamentals.